Good afternoon everybody, how you all doing? Good and good? Enjoying your weekend? Hope so. Welcome back to Farming Simulator The Monopoly. Oh, I didn't say Stimulator. Oh, I forgot about that. Farming Simulator 22 The Monopoly Edition. So we're carrying off where we left off last week. I'm doing some root crops, potatoes, as it says there. And uh, yeah, I've also got uh, Mr. Patriot, uh, not Mr. Patriot, Patriot's not here today, he's lazy because um, he's too busy working uh, but I do have DJ and a smoother with me how are you guys wonderful good morning to you gents uh, incoming yes incoming oh we're uh, in okay oh you had nah, a couple of updates but no nah, I had a I had a problem with one with some of the up, with two of the updates not actually updating properly so to restart my game. Oh, really? We're gonna get stuck, are we? Straight away. Seriously? Oh, no. Seriously, game. Unreal. You don't get stuck on something like this, Giants. You scrape it, but you don't get stuck on it. Anyway, well, I've got no new updates to report about, so that's one thing. Uh, just updates for a couple of mods, uh, which brought a bit of a worry. Uh, I was playing my solo game today, and um, when I last played that, I was seeding the field with a Stevie Cedar. And I had a course play set up for it, so I went to start it off again, and there was Lua errors left, right, and center. So I thought, okay, I'll try it with the AI vehicle uh, extension or whatever it is. Same thing happened. Tried it with a helper, same thing happened. Then I did it myself, and as soon as I turned the cedar on, the same thing happened. Um, it wouldn't move, or it just froze, and the, <clears throat> the tractor just kept on going down the, the field doing, well, it wasn't seeding. So I don't know what caused that, whether it was in one of the updates or anything like that, but I did go into my test save and tried it out see if it did the same thing but it actually worked fine on that one so yeah, I don't know but it was on a field that I actually joined two fields on so I just joined both of the fields up maybe that confuses it a bit I wouldn't understand why because especially with course play I've done it again I forgot to lower the blooming thing um, with course play it had the course that it figured out last week for that field so yeah, I don't know. Hopefully it's just a one-off thing. But I was a bit worried that might come over on this side because I didn't know it was an update for course play, which we don't use on this yet because it's not multiplayer. And update for um, the Mowgli thing, the auto, auto, what, are we, what, what is it called? Um, AI vehicle extension. Add on, dude. Yeah, so anyway, we'll see how we get on today. Because usually... Is there are any more contracts available? Uh, uh, yeah, I will. None to, none to be taken? Yeah, I'll have a look. Hang on. Let me lower that, let me put the cruise control on, and then let me go and have a look. Just a fertilising job. Ooh, we might be able to get to use our Wheel of Destiny today. Or Destruction. It's one or the other, I don't know what it is. I'm at 100%. That's why that, I was looking at that going, that looks funny. I was at 100%, oh. Ha <laughs> ha. Right. Uh, I knew that. I was just seeing if anyone in chat noticed. <sighs> See if you're awake. So I've got to line this back up again. Yeah, that potato harvester is a pain. Oh, is it what? I used it on that CV map actually. 
Alright. Let's see how well uh, auto drive's going to deal with this. Where are you, buddy? I did send you to the right field. 52. Where is he? Why is he here? Not going anywhere, costing me money. It is joined. I did a bit of, oh, I did do a bit of uh, editing. Yeah, it came all the way down. Oh, I see, because um, Smudo's head is in the way. I don't know why it came down here. I have no idea. Oh, hang on, we've got a problem here. Issues. No, the issue is is, is your thing then. No, 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 auto drive. Uh, yeah, my tractor using auto drive went past that just fine. Just saying. <laughs> Wasn't using yeah, yours. Rocks on these fields, man. <laughs> okay, I gotta adjust that too. Because auto drive goes through one of your fields, the ones who joined up. Oh, yeah. yeah. There's a road there normally. What's it doing? Go, go around circles. You're costing me money. It's gonna stop again because, yeah, your headland trailer. It would crash into it. It's sticking out. So far. Yeah, with auto drive update too, a couple of updates ago, it's decided that um, now when you bring up the cursor for it, nothing's going to work. Which is rather annoying and hopefully will be fixed. Right. Oh, and he's put a trailer, Spudo's put a trailer right in the way on his farm and his land which is quite a lot to do but still right in the way oh yeah no that's not supposed to be like that that's supposed to be uh, parked firmly on that patch of grass there sorry about that I don't know why it's coming this way anyway where is 52 seems a roundabout way to get to 52 Meanwhile, I'm losing daylight, money. You will be smudo. I already yeah, am smudo. That was right now, yeah. <laughs> Maybe it's Twitch delay there, but I'm going to make it out here. Oh, okay, I'll see how you set this up. He was so, oh yeah, okay, yeah. I sort of had a feeling it was that, but I, I was trying to go back through the conversation between us. Are you threatening me, Bowen? No, it's just stating a fact. No, right. I, need, I need to be in this, actually, for it to come over here, I think. Yeah, there we go. Here we go, auto drive. Oh, it's nice to see you managed to pull yourself away from car mechanic, Bowen. That is such a boring game. Why would you play that? Because it's addictive. Uh, it's addi yeah, it is addictive. No, I'm just trying to trigger him. <laughs> Are we going to have Get issues? The messages up, you know? I think we are going to have issues with this. It doesn't like you. Th Seriously? It's the one you gave me game. Why give me a a trailer if it's too high to fit under the pipe? What is auto drive doing? Good question. Okay, I've had enough of this. I'm doing it myself. It doesn't even have a collision. Well, it's still pull apart some of the engines.
You can take the engines out. You're just doing sandbox. Bowen. Bit of the story thing. You just doing sands like sandbox type thing instead of the storyline. <laughs> Let me just hit my microphone, eh? Just for the hell of it. Why? Because um, you get different. Wasn't it? Why? Hang on. Wasn't it? No, oh, I see. Because my steering wheel might be. There we go. It's because my steering wheel. Uh, because you get different things, like different challenges and cars. The cars turn up and they, people, like running a real garage. So they give you uh, something wrong with the car, be it the brakes or something. So you're always doing something different. And then you've got um, another one, storyline progression, which gives you extra stuff like um, barn locations and stuff like that and then you can go off and go to the junkyard find your own cars and all that so you've got a whole array of different things you can do instead of just pulling apart a car and putting it back together it was the diagnose time. yeah diagnose stuff unlock it unlock stuff unlock tools it's level up the skills mm -hmm. That's the way I'm playing it, and that's, I really like it like that. Yeah. I haven't tried the other way, but, um, oh, wrong button. What's that? Hmm. What was the other way? Oh, just playing it how you like. Sandbox type mode. Um, yeah, I haven't updated for a while, and plus I haven't. Any of the DLC for it. Yeah, I haven't got any DLCs for it either. I mean, basically, some of the DLCs just changed the cars that are really into it, in it to their real names. Some add a little bit extra, but I'm just. I'm fine with it as it is, to be honest. And I'm um, going through the storyline, building up. But that's me, I like a goal. I like to start off and build and grind and have the feeling of um, succeeding. This is going to take me a while. Better be worth it. This better be worth it. I haven't got much room down here, so I am going to go right along here and take off a, a row or two. I shut one window in this place and now I'm sweating. <laughs> it's hot, it's muggy. It's not even a muggy day, I don't think. It's been a nice day, it's been hot but not oh, over overbearable, but you know, but all of a sudden I just shut one window. That's all it took, one window. 
The weird thing is, it's not where the wind's coming from. I got the window open where the wind comes from. Where it's coming from, so. Hopefully that gives all me a little bit of take, range. Do all machines take extra damage when we do contracts on stony fields? I've no idea, man. Jump no. the regular amount of damage. Since there's no way to remove them. Yeah, it would seem a bit silly. But then again, I suppose if you're doing a contract, you're accepting a contract and a farm will set the field up the way it is, you either accept it or you don't and take what comes with it. Well, yeah. What I'm saying is we need uh, contracts for stone removal. Yeah, it would be good if they had it. That's for sure. Well, liming. Getting rid of stones, rolling. They're going to get you, to, yeah, mulching, if they're going to get you to do everything else, why not uh, add those to the mix? And that's the truth. Oh, one, two, there we go. Who has the contract on field 60? Not me, sir. Um, I, think I, I think I'm missing one, aren't I? Missing a row right there. Oh, yeah, you are very, very quiet, I can't. Almost not. Uh, almost don't hear you. Yeah. Yeah, I do. Ah, okay. You're probably using that equipment then. Yes. Ah, uh, that's why. All right. Forget oh, I ask. Done it again. <laughs> Lower the implement. It's a very simple thing to remember. A very simple task. Yep. Yeah, I managed to forget it with great skill. Well, that is something, isn't it? It's just not a good something. No, I didn't say that. What I might do, actually, at 80% here, and before I turn around into the crop again, let's um, open that out and give this fella going. How much you got on there? Okay, so I can fill it up at least four times before I need it to go somewhere. Alright, I finished two cultivating contracts. Could you check if we get a sewing contract in the stat now? Yeah, I'll have a look. Hang on. Otherwise, I'm going to be bored until you are done harvesting. That sounds like a new problem, to use your words. Yeah, it's pretty much. <laughs> but I mean, if there's more stuff to do. Hang on, I'll just turn this around, line it up, put the old cruise control on. Lower the blow. Oh, it was lowered, it just wasn't on this time. <laughs> So I went to lower it and lifted it. Jesus, <laughs> well, enjoy your boredom. Uh -oh. Don't worry, you've only got like uh, three and a half hours to wait. And even better, on a brighter side, that's in game, not real life. Well, DJ is almost done with the harvesting, so then we can skip. Yeah. Dead name it. If you want, you can give me contract the JJ and a card for you. Oh, that's not going to make it any quicker, though. Well, mind you, it gives you something to do, but then again, I'm just... I'd... Yeah. I would do it for free, too, because... You're that uh, bored? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Pretty much. All right. There you go. Wonderful. 
Now watch, ladies and gentlemen, as Smudo's kindness and charity has a secret meaning, a hidden agenda as he goes and delivers it to when the place. Do you want me to cut that anyway? Uh, it goes to, it's probably on the auto drive thing already if you've got it up, uh, but it goes to the Johnson's Farmer's Market. Oh, up there, alright. So, yeah, but as I was about to say, you're probably going to send it off sell it somewhere else. It's part of your cunning yeah, but plan. You would still give them me, get the money, because it's your equipment, I think. Yeah, I know, but what I mean is, is I lose quite a bit of money from the contract not being finished when you do that. They really sting you for it. That is true. You going up there now? No. I'm just getting ready to do unload on the go. Oh no, this thing can't harvest and unload at the same time, right? Uh, that's right. Okay, Aussie, hey buddy. Long time no see, happy new year. I hope you I'm had a good just... Christmas. <laughs> How things been with you, mate? No, he's a, he's a working today. Uh, he's got um, the New Year's Christmas type um, roster at the moment, so he'll be back on Tuesday, and then we're back to normal. He wasn't here last Sunday either, so he gets the extra contracts on Tuesday to make up. Yeah, I know. Same here, mate. Same here. Been a bit cooler. It's been sort of low 30s or just hovering at the 30s recently instead of um, the 35-ish area. Which has been good. Actually, I was freezing the other night. For some reason, woke up cold. Actually, that was two nights ago. Woke up cold, then woke up, got woken up again this morning with an earthquake. But feeling okay, actually. Feeling tired yesterday. I don't know why. I was fine, and then um, about lunchtime, I just nosedived just before I went to stream. <laughs> Possibly because I was in the meeting, and it was the. Uh, they're not being used to constantly talking and thinking and listening all at the same time. For a long period of time, actually. You gonna collect that row on the left there, JJ? Yeah, I will. I'll come back to it. I'll just get this now. And I'll try, uh, at the end of this row, I'll empty out, I think. I'm at 60%, but yeah, I'll just empty I out. I can't see how full you are, sadly. It doesn't show up for me. So. Okay, yeah. No, I'm just at 60%, okay. so. Yeah, I can see uh, the thing. So. Didn't have a, a, yeah, that was um, a bit further away. This one was just literally down the road, 25 k's away or something. Uh, the other one, the big one, which they classed as light shaking, even though it was reported all for, over most of the um, country, including in Auckland, which you never felt earthquakes in Auckland and um, they reported it and it was a doozy but they they classed it as light shaking and they, they gave their reason why and I don't care what their reason why because it wasn't light, I can tell you that much. It was pretty close to the second biggest one I felt here but um, no, we have earthquakes, so we have about 40,000 earthquakes every year but the majority of them you'd, um, you don't feel them. So, but yeah, I mean, it, was, no, it wasn't a big one. It was just enough to make my um, door rattle, and that's what woke me up. That's all. The house wasn't shaking, didn't hear anything else. It was just the, the door rattling. 
that wasn't a, it wasn't a big one at all but just enough to wake me up and like that other one where everything was a shaking No, no, no. You cut down the the stuff first. That's why it all looks already harvested. Huh? Got me all confused there, DJ. <laughs> I just see you just running around and yeah, um, it's a driver. It's a driverless tractor. Yeah. Yeah, there was no damage. Um, it takes a bit because I mean. Um, most of our houses are designed anyway to, well, sort of, uh, deal with it. And then again, a lot of the houses are also old, which are not, but they seem to deal with it okay. But for the most part, I mean, un un unlike Christchurch, I mean, um, there's quite a bit of damage in the Christchurch earthquake for what it was, uh, because it wasn't an area known for earthquakes, so they didn't build houses the ability to deal with it so that's why they got a lot of those places got taken out but where I am because it's a regular thing it's all good for the most part But generally, I think you, you need something along the around the seven magnitude and above. It just depends on how deep it is before you start getting damage. Look at this. Slow, Joe. But it's the money I want, the money I need. Sounds like a song we're about to, about to break out into a song. Yeah. Work, welcome to Farming Stimulator the Musical. I suppose the best thing is it's not a big fear. Was it the row one? The right, right. Um, yeah, at least it's not a not a huge, huge field I'm doing this on. It is more than a half decent game. There we go again. Seriously, come on, giants. Look at the size of the machine. Yeah, you say that, and then there's things like this that really get on my nerves with giants. It'll scrape it, you'll damage it, but what you won't do is get stuck on it. And it doesn't help with my driving skills. Making it worse now, because I can't offer oh, crying out loud, I've had enough of this. It really, that's what, hence the reason why I'm doing this, because it, it's just unnecessary. Probably can't do the programming for it, but still, it's annoying. If you can't do the programming for it, just make it non clippable or something, I don't know, less rigid. Uh, do something about it, Giants, come on. A bit more realism. It's a it's a simulator for a reason. Slowly going through the trailer. Yeah, I know. I forget that it does that too. So it's partly my fault. Don't try. But yeah, no, Aussie. It's an absolute wonderful game, mate. I've I've got my passion back for it again. I've it, since it's come out, I've played it every single day, like I used to with seventeen and fifteen. 19 I did it as well until I got sick of it, but mostly that was because of habit more than anything else. This is because I'm thoroughly enjoying the game. They just need to do some tweaks here and there, especially with the AI and the pathfinding. Um, I think they had enough time to sort of bring out an auto drive type system as well to go with it, but I suppose they sort of have, 
with it being able to go to places but yeah there is a bit of an issue with the um, AI driving around and stuff pathfinding but it's not it's not a major it's just one of those things it's a new new feature for them so they're obviously going to be some things that need ironing out you can't test for everything especially if you've never seen it work and don't realize there's a problem there or a potential problem there, so I can only assume that they'll get better at it and improve it. So, but um, yeah, I tell you, I've been playing on the Stevie version of this, his edit of Elm Creek, and oh, I'll tell you what, this is a dump of a map compared to that. His map is so much nicer for this area around here. Um, it's got huge fields too. Massive fields. Didn't he times it by like two or no, four? No, no. It's just an uh, edit of this. Just an outright edit. Yeah, he was more um, playing around with it just to get used to the, the new engine and what he could do more than anything else. Duck sort of showed me it on um, Discord go live and I, I looked at it and went no I don't like it it's not like his normal quality but actually when I went in and played it I thought stuff it I've got no other maps to play um, <clears throat> to do my usual routine with the farming sim games and I thought well no I didn't want to play on this one on solo because I'm doing it on multiplayer so I thought I'll give it a go and once I play it around the, the I mean there's his farmyard was definitely uh, well, pretty good it's pretty good but um once i drove around and all that and saw how he's beautified it up i mean it's not up there with his other edits but it's still fantastic you can see that he was just trying to um see how things work but it's it's definitely a great edit for this map uh, uh, this yeah a lot nicer and good field choices the only problem i've found with it so far is um course play doesn't like some of the uh fields for harvesting i get it cannot cannot find destination even though it's right in front of it or there's an object blocking it's blocked by an object and there's nothing around including me and that's the only thing i've found with it <laughs> but Maybe it's because um, he redefined the fields. He was using the, the old way, and there may, maybe there's something new, a new thing you got to do with this version of it, which is most likely because there's so many new things added to the fields. And uh, he just, he'll figure it out. Well, oh, Stevie, he will figure it out, and as usual, probably come out. Will come out with amazing maps as he always does. Right, oh, um, probably going to need the empty number at 95%. I'll just line up, Smudo, and straighten up. Oh, I might be able to make it all the way down. I'm still at 95%. Now I'm at 96. Now I'm at 97. No, I won't risk it because I've got to account for the fact that it doesn't actually show you the full amount until it's travelled all the way through the conveyor belts and stuff. <laughs> oh no, I was about to say it. Potatoes. Straight to the chip shop. Put it into the washer, put it into the chipper, put it into the vat, and then put it into my mouth. That's the way it should work with potatoes. Throwing a piece of fish or something.